Hey Gemini Seekers! So happy to have you here on my channel. Welcome to your yearlies for 2019, or as I like to refer to it, Ministress of Magic. We're done with Master of Karma, aka 2018. Welcome to your new life. All right, 12 cards, actually 13. One for each month, starting January, of course, all the way through December. And then this is the significance of the year. I have one card for each month from the After Tarot, who, by the way, are gorgeous. Two clarifiers from the Celtic Tarot, one rune. And then we will finish up with an oracle, one from the Akashic Records and one from the I Ching. And I have your cilantro and basil to keep us company. I am Morgane. This is the existential shift. In case you're a newcomer, normally I speak to the camera, but this is a special project for 2019. So hope you like it. And I'm going to start with the wholesome of the year. Ready? Yay. Okay. King of Wands. The King of Wands like to pop up everywhere. He's. I think he's been almost in every reading. He's definitely been in the last reading that I've done for uh, Libra that I just finished. Ten of Cups. Okay. Five of Pentacles, interesting. And he was the Yggdrasil tree from which Odin has hung himself from for nine days and night to receive the knowledge of the runes. Sacrifice for happiness. Sacrificing from the pocket for happiness. Ten of Cups is a fulfillment of the heart, specifically in this Celtic deck. This is community oriented, so it's more than just a relationship that is very, very happy and, and fulfilling. It's, it's family life, it's friends, it's community, it's neighbors, it's a group, it's peers, it's people around you and for you. Maybe you are this king of wands that people are around him. Maybe you are part of this group who is after this king of wands who's kind of leading it. Five of pentacles though, hmm. I'm not gonna lie, Five of Pentacles signifies some sort of loss or feeling at, oh, okay. This is a very strong group, potentially a leader of this group. Five of Pentacles speak of, of um, feeling of being left out. Maybe someone is feeling left out of a group that they were used to be a part of in a way. Maybe you're still part of the group and someone that you're familiar with and care about is outside of it. It could be a community, an organization, a school, a workplace. Hey, it could be a cult. <laughs> but this Yggdrasil, aka Ehewa, speak of protection and weapons. So whomever this outcast is, and this is a big word, there is a line of defense for them. So if you're this individual, maybe you, you feel the need to def protect someone who's feeling a little bit left out. If you're this person who's feeling a bit left out, um, maybe you have someone who can help you feel belong again. Someone with influence and power in this situation. Now a different sort of scenario, this could be a relationship. Um, imagine a scenario where you're uh, joining a group of some sort and then you meet someone there. This could be the instructor or the teacher or the manager or the boss. This might be someone offering you work or job or a sense of belonging after feeling a little bit left out. Like um, Libra had a very strong element of a fire um, individual that is giving them guidance and protection and protection and kind of is around them in a way. Um, so maybe you want to watch your Libras, uh, Libra yearly. I don't know if you might find resonance, especially if you have uh, Libra placements also. Uh, or you want to cross watch if there's a Libra in your life. But whatever sense of being left out is, if you're experiencing now, throughout the year of 2019, there's a strong sense of feeling belong. Like there's, there's like being in the door, 
kind of thing. This could be someone sticking out, standing up for someone who is a little bit dismissed by a group. And they're like, no, I'm, I'm standing beside you. I'm protecting you. I got your back. I'm on your side. This is a very interesting, specific narrative for a year, okay? Guys, if you don't resonate, watch your other um, placements. Look at the other videos for, look at the other previews. If you're watching this on YouTube, look at the other previews to see if there's something else you resonate with. Though the year has just begun. This is like just the general guidance. All right, speaking of, let's get to it. Oh, I want to do this first. Again. I don't know, I have sudden urge to do this again. Palo Santo. Let's give a little bit more of kind of good vibe to this reading. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Okay. Sorry. Try to... There we go. All right, shall we? January. Oh, let's put this aside first. King of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Cups, and here was. 